Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, my name's Leslie. Welcome to my kitchen down here on the farm. This week is all about freezer meals and mainly about breakfast freezer meals. So don't go anywhere. If you haven't hit subscribe, please be sure to hit subscribe. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any time that I upload and be sure to give me a thumbs up. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is So, we're still doing freezer meals. Let me just say that I am very new to the freezer meal concept. I've done a lot of entrees as freezer meals, but never breakfast. And when I initially said this the other day, I said this was kind of like a trial run for Judah starting school. For those of you that are new, my grandson, my oldest grandson is Judah and he will be starting school in August. So I thought about having some meals in case he had to come over here. If his parents went to work early, he had to come here before he went off to school. I could have something to pop out of the freezer. So I was kind of giving it a trial run. But as I've got to thinking about it, Bryant needs breakfast every morning, usually when he comes back from the farm or if he's hungry before he goes to the farm. So these are things that I can have here, even for Bryant and myself. Also, for those of you who may be um, single at home, widowed or whatever, you, you may have a day that you just feel great and you want to get in the kitchen and make a bunch of freezer meals. And then on the days you have doctor's appointments or appointments to go to, all you have to do is pick it out, pick them out of the um, freezer, warm them up, and there you go. So, but since I'm new at this, you know, there's those YouTube channels that do like 20 different meals and they get it all done in an hour and <laughs> it's just amazing. Well, that's not me. So, what I'm doing is starting small. I'm doing two a day this week. Two different things a day. And so today, we're going to do... Um, baked oatmeal and we're going to do two different kinds of waffles so I guess you can say we're doing three but we're going to um, get started on this and we're going to get started on baked oatmeal okay so I'm just going to get you guys tilted down and we're just, you're just going to watch me as I go my oven is preheated to 375 I believe or 350 375 um, so we're going to start with our dry ingredients. I've got two cups of rolled oats. I've got a fourth of a cup of chopped pecans. I actually have another fourth of a cup that we're going to sprinkle on top. So a total of a half a cup, but only a fourth of a cup going in. Uh, and I believe, oh here, I have um, a teaspoon of baking powder and a little less than half a teaspoon of salt going in. I have a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. Okay, so we're going to give this a stir. And then we're going to start adding our uh, wet ingredients. This calls for an 8x8 eight eight square pan. I do not have an 8x8 eight eight square pan. I do, however, have like a, I think it's a 7x10. So um, that's what we're going to use. Okay, I'm just going to put this egg in the same container I had um, the pecans in. We're going to add that in. We're going to add in a good couple teaspoons of vanilla. We've got some maple syrup going in. We're gonna do about a fourth of a cup of maple syrup. A little extra. 
Never hurt anybody. Let's get all that vanilla. Get in there. All right. Okay, and we're going to add in two cups of milk. One. Two. Okay, now, here is where you can doctor this up any way you want to. You could put um, craisins in here, you know, cram dried cranberries. You could put blueberries in here. You could put pretty much anything you want in here. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to put in here because I think Judah and Levi would really like this, is we're going to put some bananas. Um, this was a recipe I did find online somewhere. don't remember where. I hate it when I forget where I find it. Um, but we're going to just slice up a couple of bananas in here. And I'm just quickly slicing them. I'm not really giving much thought to size or anything. We're just kind of we're just going to go. Now, when we bake this up, I thought about baking it up and um, bringing it out. I'm going to bake this ahead of time. It's not going to be a freezer meal that we have to get out and cook. I'm going to go ahead and bake it. And um, I was going to leave it in the pan and then just heat up the pan. But, hey, it may be just one of us wanting it. So, I think I'm going to let it cool and then... Um, and then once it cools, slice it up into individual servings and freeze them as individual servings. That way, you know, I may not be feeling oatmeal one day. I may be feeling um, uh, Egg McMuffin. So um, we're just going to make this work. Okay, guys, I'm going to give this, the bananas, a stir in there. All right. Now, like I said, my pan is not a, it's not an eight by eight. It is, it, it's not an eight by eight. It's a seven by 10, I think, which is pretty, it's close enough. And there's a little bit more cinnamon left in there. I'm going to sprinkle out. Okay. And I'm just going to spray my pan. I see my pecan pieces in there. Okay, and so here we're just going to pour this right in there. I'm sorry you guys can't see what I'm doing. Alright, and I'm just going to kind of push it all around so everything is and I've got that other quarter cup of pecans. Now, did y'all see how fast that came together? That was like no time at all. So we're just gonna sprinkle the pecans on the top. Now, kids may not like the nuts on top. Well, they may not like the nuts at all. So that's something you could definitely leave out if you wanted to. You don't have to put those in. And you can put anything in these that you want. So, okay. It's going in a 375 degree oven. I'll see you when it comes out. While our oatmeal is in the oven baking up, I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get us started on the first type of waffles we're going to make. Now, what I'm using is the Krusty's um, pink, light and fluffy pink buttermilk pancake mix. That's what we're using. Um, if you're smart, you can make your own. Uh, I have made my own in the past. I just did not have time to do that today. And I want to get this done because I'm super excited about doing this. So, let me get you... The first kind we're going to make is we're going to make chocolate chip waffles. So, I'm going to plug up my waffle machine over here. I have never used this waffle machine, so it may be a little trial and error for us to begin with. Um, someone gave this one to me. I had another one 
but someone gave this one to me. So I've got it plugged up now, okay? All right, so in our mixing bowl, let's go ahead and start with two cups of the Krusty's mix. And you know what? I need a whisk. All right, so to our Krusty's mix, I've got a tablespoon of granulated sugar going in. All right, let's give that a whisk. I have a cup of, well, let's go ahead and let's do our wet ingredients. I have uh, two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of oil, one egg, and a cup and a half of water. And you know, I think some vanilla would be good. So let me grab my vanilla, but I want to give this a good whisk. All right, let me get the whisk, I mean, let me get the vanilla and then we'll add our chocolate chips in. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla there and I'm gonna add in a cup of chocolate chips. I think Judah Bug will really like these waffles. In fact, he may want one of these for lunch. You love waffles? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna set that aside. And now we just wait for our waffle iron to get good and hot. I've got some spray here. I've got a scoop. Like I said, I have to figure this out as far as how much to put on it. So. Um, I'll meet you over at the waffle iron. Okay, so this one has a temperature dial. I have it almost all the way on max, but not quite. So we're gonna open it up. Look how pretty and clean. And I'm just gonna give a quick spray. And I'm not sure how much we're gonna put. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna wing this first one. And we wait. Okay, guys, let's give it a check. I'm not sure. I could have put more stuff in, but I believe it's ready. All right. So I'm not going to spray it this time. We'll see how it comes out. And we wait again. All right, let's see if we've got this one ready. I'm gonna leave it just a little bit longer. I understand you kind of want to wait till the steam stops and there's still some steam coming. So we're gonna wait just a few more minutes, but it's almost there. Okay, so the steam has pretty much, there's just a little bit, it's pretty much all stopped. So let's see where we are. Oh, look how beautiful that is. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm gonna give it another spray. Every other one, I'll give it a quick little spray. Not much, but a little bit. And it took, I used a whole Let's see what size measuring cup I have here. Three fourths of a cup while I go, so that must work pretty good. So I thought I would just give it a little bit of a trial. Ma'am, them is good. They may not make it to the freezer. They are that good. Judah's back there eating cinnamon rolls. I don't think I'm going to share these chocolate chip waffles with him. They are so good. 
Okay, so the steam has almost stopped on this one, and I went a little bit too full on this one, so not quite a full three-fourths of a cup. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cannot get any prettier than that. Okay, while our last chocolate chip ones are making, let's go on and start making the other. I'm using the same bowl. The only thing I did was make sure there was no chocolate chips left in it. So we're going to pretty much go through the same thing. We've got two cups of the Krusty's um, mix. We have, here comes the difference. We have two tablespoons of brown sugar and one tablespoon of cinnamon. So these are gonna be brown sugar cinnamon waffles. Another delicious combination. And we're gonna give that a whisk. And I'm actually gonna go in with my hand because that brown sugar has clumped a little bit. I want to mix it up. We don't want any big mouthfuls of brown sugar. There we go. All right, so we're going to mix that together. I'm just filling for clumps of brown sugar. There we go, okay. So we're going in here again with the oil. The egg. And the water. Cup and a half of water. And we just mix this together and I'll put some vanilla in here. I think everything needs a little vanilla. Even with the cinnamon and brown sugar in there, I think it needs a little bit of vanilla. Okay, so these are gonna be delicious too. This will probably be the uh, freezer meal that Caroline will be the most interested in. So, sorry, Judah's hollering in the background, I apologize. All right, his tablet died, so I gotta go plug that up, but this is ready. And we're gonna finish up our chocolate chip waffles and then we'll start on these. Okay, everybody, the baked oatmeal is out of the oven. We're just gonna let it cool before we slice it into um, serving slices. And once it cools and I slice it up, we will freeze it and it's gonna be delicious. Here we have our chocolate chip waffles. Half of a waffle didn't make it because it's so good. Oh my goodness. And over here, don't look at the mess, but we have our cinnamon brown sugar waffles coming out now as we speak. Okay, everyone, everything is out and ready to be packaged up for the freezer. I do have one more cooling over here at a half a one. Um, so I'm waiting for this to cool so I can clean it up and um, I've done a lot of dishes and just need to finish cleaning up. So um, I, all I have left to do is package them up and get them in the freezer. I'm sure you're not concerned with what that looks like. But um, if I get it done before this video goes out, I will take a picture of it and um, share with you what it looks like. So I'm super excited to try the oatmeal. Um, I might, I might if I get to it, um, we may try that before this video ends because I'm super excited about that. And I've already tasted the chocolate 
waffles and chocolate chip waffles and oh my goodness is it delicious I have not tried the let's try it let's try the brown sugar cinnamon and what I'm gonna do is there's a little extra piece right here I'm just gonna take those little extra pieces right there and we'll give it a try now of course you need syrup on it but hey hmm. ma'am You might not need syrup. <laughs> it's not it's not really sweet because it only had the two um, scoops of brown sugar, but it's just a hint of sweetness. So um, if you don't like syrup, then by all means make these waffles and just eat them plain. So um, they are really, really good. Okay, so the only thing I have left to taste is the oatmeal. Hey, let's taste it now. Hold on, let me grab a spoon. So it is still warm and has not set up yet. Um, so it will definitely, you see it's still steaming. I don't know if you can see it steam. Can you see it steaming? We'll see. <laughs> I'm trying to see if you can see it steaming. But um, once it sets up, we will slice it up into um, chunks and freeze it as individual servings. Mm, I'm excited. Mm. Y'all, that is good. And I can imagine some maple syrup drizzled on top of that would be delicious too. Mmm, that is good. Okay, so here, two or three breakfast items. You know, if you count the waffles as two different flavors, so that you get two, and then the baked oatmeal. Another batch of stuff to go in the freezer for you to just pull out on those mornings where you don't feel like cooking, but you're kind of hungry. So, all right, um, I'm going to sign out, but stay tuned in case I get to add some pictures at the end. So thank you so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I appreciate you all so very much. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything, and if the freezer's cold enough, you can freeze anything. <laughs> Bye, y'all.